Right, let's go then. Don't look at me like that. Well, we've been left for a walk with the dogs. We spotted this down in the uh, valley below us, so done a bit of research on it. This little place here in front of us called Bala Ellis. Or what originally called Bala Ellison. You just hear the bikes in the distance. It's Grand Prix period. Been a wet one for them this year. What do you think so far, my love? Yeah, great. It's been such a long time since we've done anything, really. Months, isn't it? Yeah. So long I forgot how to use the bloody stuff. And we know a little bit about this place, so we'll have a chat. And up the hillside there behind it is where I spend a lot of my time. The place up there is called Coity Cubbin. In this area there have been lots of little places in the world that's had its own little chapel. Little London chapel. I think we have to go down here, Carla. Yeah. Just being nosy. Not like you, my love. <laughs> Not an awful lot we know about this one, but as Carla says, what we don't know we'll make up. We had permission to do this, so don't trespass folks, it's private property. Yes, as Carla said, there's three or four months since we've been out. It's been such a terrible summer. It's either windy or wet. Blowy. It's very blowy. I'm not sure if these microphones will be okay or not, but we'll manage it, my love. You see by the mud the tracks how much rain there's been. Oh, ah, yeah, look, there's an entrance. Come on, Roxy. Come, Pen. There's not a lot there is to see, I'm afraid, these days. It's in one of my Thalton books, I can't remember which one. It's in uh, number two. Number two? Yeah. The one you can't get anymore. So it was a house, was it? Yeah, this is the house part of it. Gosh, there isn't much left, is there? No. There's a lot gone since I took the photographs too. See the big oh. granite uh, boulders in the middle of it? Yeah. Gosh. Cemented as well, so it's fairly new, or newish. Ow. I just did what you did. I just did what you did, my love. Wow, there isn't much left, is there? No. Hmm. An outlook out of the gable. So who was it that lived here? Um, Let's have a look. Oh, we did some homework. Well, there is going to be somebody called Ellis, because in 1643 it was called Bella Ellison. Hmm. It was sold. And I think, uh, what's her name? Somebody Woolley. Sue Woolley? Sue Woolley said something on Facebook. She did. That was connected to uh, Dream Beery and the Butchers. Yeah, the Butchers and Peel. Woods, the Butchers and Peel. And was there, I think it was sold in about 1740, 1750. All right. Oh. <laughs> That's cold. It is a cold breeze, isn't it? Yeah. So just over the hillside there's Cockney Fessage. And across the hillside there is, what's that one called? What? 
over there, that place. I don't know what that's called. It was a cafe up here one time, wasn't it? What was that called? Oh, um, so that's Sartfell. Sartfell Farm, I think that is. Yeah, uh, something like that. To the Sartfell left of this Farm. was a place called Sartfield Cafe. Yeah. It's long since been knocked down. So that was the house, some part of it. <sighs> Carl travels through the ginny nettles. Such a hero. This is the buyer part of it. So I don't think there's a well up here, do you? No, don't ever remember seeing a well up here. No, they just walked to the river. Yeah, I would have thought so. Yeah. I wouldn't want to go looking for it in all this crap. No. Oh, these, thick, my girl. these aren't the pants for, oh, for prickles. No, oh, gee whiz, I'm sitting here. You carry on videoing, love. Are you, are you I just sure wait enough? here. You've, you've peaked, have you? Yeah, that's it. It's been a while, you know. I can't overdo it. Oh, no, you get back and do it slowly. I've got a full house of hoovering to do when I get back. Yeah. Anyway. You're, you're molting way too much. Not much left to mould, is it? Um, you do some homework and I'll just do a bit of videoing. Oh, thanks. Yes, yeah, not a lot to see. Oh, strange bit of uh, wall building there. I don't know whether it be a cow house or not, I don't know. Doorway there, and then we've got the end wall here. Obviously, it's all been rendered at one time. Yeah, as I was saying, up in this place, at one time there would have been a lot of activity. That in the little chapel, little London farm, currently Fessage, Bell Ellison here. Right. So according to Facebook, Sue Woolley says her great-great-grandparents, Joseph and Maria Woods, bought the 23-acre holding Bala Ellis in 1858 from a guy called Thomas Kane. Right. Hmm. And they sold it in 1869 to John Kane, who conveyed it to Henry Mullineau. That's one of the main Manx names, Mulray, Mulcrane, Mullineau. And then it's, it continues to say about the 1643 owner, Ellitson. So that's interesting. Now, I've always thought, you know, these farms, their names always do come from. Lived in them, yeah. absolutely. I love it. Like my place is Coity Coburn, well, it's place Croft of Coburn, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There's not a Bala Kelly anywhere, is there? Yeah, Where? up north. Is there? Yeah. Where Alan. have you got it? Why? Yeah. Kelly's had no money. Spent too long procreating. So we're going to go down now to a little place. When this place was sold, I think, Carl, there was a mill sold with it, wasn't there? Oh, right. Renass Mill. So we we'll go down there, because that's down in the valley below. Can we take a walk down there? Um, do you want to? Go on. So you can turn off the camera and we'll just drive. <laughs> you idle cow. I know, but we just have to walk back up and get the bloody car, but I don't like the wind, it pisses me off. Well, your wind does annoy me sometimes, to be fair. <laughs> Fucking watch it, short ass. I know what I was going to Somewhere along here, there was a wheel. A wheel? Yeah. Half buried. It's this way, I think. But there's like a section that would have been a wheel here. Maybe. You mean a water wheel? No. The man has gone. Mm -hmm. 
So is it down here? Yeah, we're going to ask uh, Millers where we're going to now. I think the, uh, the river below us here. Ah, there's our geese. Oh, have we got to cross it? Yeah. Why? I'm going to get wet. I'll just slip. I'll slip though. Where is it on this side or that side? Right, so then can't we walk up there? Right, well, let's try the dry option first. Well, you go up that way, I'll just walk over here. Oh. oh. Oh, Roxy. Oh, my God. That's not... Wah! That's not too bad. be worth it. What? Well, because they're new. Oh, why well, have we got to go further? Oh. Why didn't I fetch my shoes with me? Why didn't you tell me we were going in water? How far is it? Oh, so there's nothing there. Well, you've got to go past the river. Oh. oh, I see, right. Oh, God. I don't get paid enough for this. You don't, my love. I don't get paid at all. Up your wages. Um, it's in that bunch of nettles there. Ah, oh, right. And it's very well overgrown this time of year, so I think what I'll oh. do is. Come back. So I've got some bit air. And there it is. An ass corn mill. It was last um, operated oh, after letting in 1865 and 1872 by some majors in Peel. And it was a part of the time they were selling all the letting off Little London. So perhaps that was one of the last times it was operating. I mean, quite a uh, substantial mill. And the mill workers are doing in the shed behind it. And the races, the water would have come in through this little race here on the side of me, down through here back into the river. 
I suppose they would have been quite powerful in this day. Obviously not as powerful as the Glenmore one. It says it is a corn mill, so whether it's used for thrashing or grinding, I don't know. And of course the people who do know are no longer with us. My feet are soaking. I knew, well, as soon as you walked in, I thought, ha, ah, prick, I know your feet, don't your shoes that, aren't waterproof. Here. Well, you can bleep it out, can't you? No, well, that'll leave it in. She'll know what I'm whip up against. Whip, 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 whip. My faithful hands are with us as usual. They love being out. They're not that, they're not much either. Thank you. Thanks, Pen. Okay, me I should walk back, my love. Okay. What have we been doing over summer, anyway? I can't remember. We had some things that we did, didn't we? Oh, the Grove Museum, that was yesterday. No, I'm talking about from TT week since we last done things. Oh, we went away to my dad's country, didn't we? Went away to see some Fred Dibner stuff. Ugh. Been camping at yours? What? Camping at yours? Yeah, we've done a lot of that Well, mainly trying to avoid this rubbish weather. Oh god, that does not feel nice. Oh wow. <sighs> I might. It's dead slippy there, you know. And I can't see. Oh my god. Will you off with the fucking sticks? Are you not going to help me? Oh, that's cold now. I know, but what am I? If I slip, it's. A <laughs> oh, but my phone. Let me put my phone in your pocket. Oh. Oh, I don't like mud and water. God's sake. What? Ah! Why don't you shut up? Ah, see? Oh. Ah, ah, you would just want me to fall. <sighs> Your turn. Come on, doggies. Let's go. Leave him there. Good girl. 